That's a poor start from Blatherwick, but an excellent one for Sibley. He goes uh, to 50. And it's been a, an excellent knock for him. Slightly adjusted technique. Shoulders pointing perhaps a little bit more at where the ball is coming from. Two square leg again. Still Lancashire have got an extra cover and no square leg to Dom Sibley. And Sibley says thanks very much. Shot. Glorious drive. Too brisk. Straight and gone. Sibley nailed in front by Bailey. And finally, in the 39th over, Lancashire have their first. Gets it through. And the second time, Yates has been on the front foot driving through the offside this morning. That's going to find the fence as well. Decent length from Bailey. Draws the outside edge, but uh, soft bottom hand. And then he goes straight to ground. That's a, a nice way to get off the mark for the skipper, Will Rhodes. That's knocked it out of shape. <laughs> get the other one back. <laughs> Nice starts and finds the outside edge. He made a good start yesterday. His very first over yesterday, he had both Sibley and Yates dropped. <laughs> Lovely. From Will Rhodes, who moves to 21 and Warwickshire to 167 for one. <laughs> it's beaten cover. It was a poor ball, really, from Luke Wood got the treatment it deserved or it should go really well 173 for one well it's very tight to be playing that shot but he's played it deftly first one down the third man off the edge of the bat that not that was deliberate nice delicate shot from Will Rhodes it's nicely done just a little short from Parkinson and offering some width so it's another boundary, the 31st of the innings. Get down. Oh, kept a bit low, it's a beautiful punch though. Off the back foot, he watched that like a hawk. That is a top way to go to 100. His sixth in first class cricket, that is very, very impressive from Rob Yates. Trade off in England, it's got to be played in, in better parts of the summer. If you're going to play less of it, at least we'll play at a proper time in the summer, otherwise, all the back went. <laughs> Put away, fraction short from Luke Wells. He also brings a half century to Warwickshire's captain. over that one at backward point. Oh, violence. That has been hit hard and flat. Oh, there's the chance. And it's taken. Oh, that's a brilliant catch. At first, you're thinking that uh, it was a missed stumping. But Yates has been tempted into uh, leaving his crease, darting down the pitch. That's just putting short leg in danger. Long hop from uh, Wells. Put away by Rhodes. Sorry. Mm, full toss. And that's been dealt with as well. What I mean about the new ball, you get it wrong and it will disappear. That's a leg stump half folly, and Sam Hain, as we all know, is very strong there. <laughs> that ball there to Hain, much like Jonathan Trott, very, very profitable area for him. Yeah. <laughs> it's a 
tall ball from Ben, who's looking a little weary now in his 22nd over. Well, they're feeding the pads of Sam Hay, and it's oh no, it's been pretty much summed up in that one delivery how Lancashire have gone so far. Part of that series. Well, again, it's leg side, it's leg stump half volley, and it's dealt with by Sam Hay. Brings up the 300, and the lead is extended to 223. To bottom hand, to good effect, that's drilled through mid off. And that's just what you needed when you're in the 90s, that takes him to 98. A lovely shot. He's been very strong off his pads, but through the offside and not have a cup of tea thrown at me. They ain't in any rush to strap on their bowling boots and go and have a bowl. Last game of the season, county champions, going to be Bob Willis trophy holders. They're grinding Lancashire into the dirt here. They are going to bat well, bat once and bat long. A nice way to go to 50. A crisp cover drive. Sam Hain has looked in good touch. He looks a good player. And he also will want to double this up and try and get a Lord's 100. Uh, yeah! Holding. Absolute beauty in the change of ends has worked for Bathory. Just skidded through. A little bit of extra pace. Uh. Oh, beauty. Absolute beauty. Luke Wells persisted with. He's bowled some absolute gorgeous leg breaks in this spell. Lofted. Committed to the shot. Did Will Rhodes. His 16th boundary. Sweetly struck. Shouts a catch. Whistles past short square. And away to the boundary. Burgess is first, Warwickshire's 50th. It's 357 for four. But I think that he, the way that he's come back and practiced and worked um, and applied himself for us shows that he really does want to get better. Uh, and, and he's looking at ways of expanding his game all the time. How, how do you balance the, the need for a big club like Warwickshire to produce your own as well? That's it. Well, it, it is one of our three goals that we have. So winning trophies, Developing players to play for England through playing on the best pitches we can play on Edge Baston. Well, it's great to talk to you and congratulations again on the championship triumph. Thanks for popping in and Thank being you. grilled for the last Thank 20 you. minutes. Enjoy the rest of the Bob Willis trophy. Thank you very much. Shot. Sure. Bit of width and Burgess strokes it away through the offside. Swatted away. There is a man out on the leg side boundary, but that's been hit with real power and authority. 400 comes up. Yes! Oh, yes, quick hands. That was excellent hands. And Parkinson gets one with a beauty. Edged gone. Good catch because he's close there. Luke Wells, one didn't carry a couple of overs ago, and he stepped up. And Tim Bresnan didn't really feel at home in that innings throughout. Yeah. Oh, I think there's an edge there, yep, given. Given this is really good from the two spinners. They needed late wickets just to get them off the field more than anything else. No, sorry. Well, that's a bit of a pie, and we... I haven't said that much about Luke Wells. By and large, he's been excellent, but that was a gift for Miles. Dragged down, pulled away, heaved away. And that's the second boundary of the over. Takes the lead to 386 and the score to 464 for seven.